Reciprocal determinism is a concept that explains how a person's behaviour, personal factors, and their environment all influence one another in a continuous cycle. It shows that individuals are not only shaped by their surroundings, but also impact their surroundings through their actions and attitudes. The origins of reciprocal determinism come from Albert Bandura, a psychologist known for his work on social cognitive theory. In the 1970s, Bandura developed this idea as part of his broader theory of learning and behaviour called social cognitive theory. He believed that the common explanations for human behaviour, which focus solely on either environmental or internal factors, were incomplete. Instead, Bandura argued that behaviour is influenced by an ongoing interaction between a person's cognitive processes, their behaviour and the environment. An example of reciprocal determinism can be seen in how a student's study habits are influenced by this interaction. A student who has a positive belief in their ability to succeed, personal factor, is likely to study more behaviour, which leads to better grades and encouragement from teachers. Environment. The positive feedback from the environment then reinforces the student's belief in their abilities, encouraging them to continue studying hard, and the cycle repeats. Conversely, a student with negative beliefs about their abilities might avoid studying, leading to poor grades and less support from the environment which further lowers their confidence. One of the strengths of reciprocal determinism is that it provides a more comprehensive view of human behaviour. Instead of suggesting that we are purely driven by internal motives or external pressures, it acknowledges that behaviour is shaped by a complex interaction of factors. This makes it particularly useful in explaining why people act differently in similar situations. It also accounts for how people can change their environment, which is a more dynamic view compared to theories that treat people as passive recipients of external forces. However, one criticism of reciprocal determinism is that it can be difficult to clearly separate and measure the influence of behaviour, personal factors and the environment. Since these elements are always interacting, it's hard to know which one plays the most significant role in shaping behaviour. This can make it challenging for researchers to test the theory in a precise way. Another weakness is that it may not account for situations where the environment plays an overwhelmingly dominant role, such as in cases of extreme poverty or abuse, where an individual's ability to influence their surroundings is limited. Alternatives to reciprocal determinism include more traditional deterministic views, which argue that behaviour is primarily shaped by external forces, such as environmental conditioning or biological factors. For example, behaviourism a school of thought developed by psychologists like B.F. Skinner emphasises that behaviour is the result of environmental conditioning through rewards and punishments, without much consideration for internal thought processes. On the other hand, cognitive theories like those stemming from cognitive behavioural therapy tend to focus more on how personal thoughts and beliefs shape behaviour, often placing less emphasis on the role of the environment. These alternatives provide more focused explanations but may not fully capture the complexity of human behaviour as reciprocal determinism does. To learn more about Bandura's cognitive social theory, watch the video on screen now.